Hey, it's Christina with Tina Girl Travels and today we're in Amsterdam and I'm going to show you how to get around the city using trams. Even though Amsterdam is a very walkable city, if you're spending time in Amsterdam, whether it's just for a day or for a few days, consider an Amsterdam travel ticket. These tickets come in single or multi-day varieties and allow unlimited travel on Amsterdam's public transportation system. Your ticket actually covers the bus, the metro, the ferry, and the trams. And alternatively, single-use one-hour tickets are available, but honestly, they were pretty pricey at over three euros for a ticket that was only valid for an hour whereas a 24-hour unlimited use ticket is 850. Currently the 48-hour tickets are 1350 and a 72-hour ticket is only 20 euros. To use your ticket you simply tap your ticket on the pad when you get on. The trams are super efficient and whisk you from one end of the city to the other in just a few minutes. I'm gonna actually add a link to a really good website that I found that had amazing maps uh, laid out for you. Another nice thing about the trams themselves is they're very modern. They have huge windows so you can see everything. And if you're visiting Amsterdam on a rainy day, and let's face it, Amsterdam gets lots of rain, this is a fun dry way to do some sightseeing. An interesting thing about the Amsterdam trams is that there are attendants on board that are super helpful. They're usually sitting in a booth towards the middle or the back of the tram. And yeah, you can ask them any questions that you might have about getting from here to there. At most tram stations, you'll find a sign with the current time and when you can expect the next tram, you'll easily see the number on the front of the tram. The trams themselves are very clean and comfortable and there's a reason for that. There's actually really strict rules you need to know about like no eating or drinking on board. So finish that iced coffee before getting on the tram. Also, no feet on the seats and that makes sense. If you're on your cell phone, you're actually expected to be quiet about it. And of course there's no smoking and if you're planning on bringing a bike on board, sorry, you can't with the exception of tram 26, but you'll need a special ticket for that and your bike can't ride during rush hour. They were also very strict about riding without a ticket. We saw some boys get the boot for trying to ride without a valid ticket and all these rules apply to both trams and buses. I wanna show you one of my favorite apps that I use all the time when I travel. It's called Roam to Rio. You need to download this one. You simply enter in two locations and you can actually be specific. I'm putting in Amsterdam Central Station where we'll be coming in and our hotel, Amsterdam House on the Canal. And it shows you how to get there, what modes of transportation are available, what it's gonna cost you, how long it's going to take, and often it'll link you to the ticket center if you wanna buy train tickets or ferry tickets or whatever. It's the most useful travel tool ever. When Keith and I travel, we love to just get on a train and ride. With no end in mind, we just get on and see where it takes us. We take an hour or two and we get out of the tourist areas of the places we're visiting and see where the people live, where they eat, where they shop, see how the locals actually live their lives. We've had so many great experiences doing this in Paris, in Istanbul, in Stockholm. And when you're done, you just turn around and take the ferry or the tram or the train back. It's such a great way to get a broader picture of where you're actually visiting. I want to show you one more funny little thing, and this is more for the locals watching this video. If you're pregnant, you can order one of these buttons to wear when you ride, so everyone will see that you have important luggage, as they put it, and will certainly offer you a seat. I love this idea. So the trams start running at about 6 a.m. until midnight on weekdays and from 7 a.m. to midnight on weekends. I hope I was able to help you out today. If I was, please give my video a thumbs up. Be sure to check out the link below for the printable map of the transit system in Amsterdam. I'll also add links to our favorite anti-theft day packs by PackSafe that we use all the time when we travel. Thanks for taking the time to watch my video. Let me know in the comments below where you're watching from and I would love it if you became one of my subscribers and that way you won't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. I'll see you again soon on Tina Girl Travels.